Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm here today with Tony Ferrazzo. I'll let Tony introduce himself. Hi guys, I'm Tony Ferrazzo. I have a channel called Maryland and Delaware Herping. I started following Frank probably either earlier this year or last year. And uh, like most of you guys, fell in love with his channel and then he started watching mine. And this is the first time we were finally able to link up. So, so I was excited to meet Tony because he is one of the most passionate people about herps I have ever met. And I love watching his channel as well and his adventures and the things he's find. So we got together here to combine our efforts and get to know each other. And I'm thinking we're going to do a lot of herping here in the future. But Tony, you want to tell us about why we're right here at this spot and how you picked this place to go herping today? Absolutely. So currently we are in the Ridge and Valley portion of Eastern West Virginia, Northeastern West Virginia to be specific. And on this area right here, this open type of mountain prairie, you usually find these on power line cuts. And many of these cut through state parks, national forests and everything like that are generally very accessible. And the cool thing about these places is there are all these rocks right here. And under these rocks are these little micro habitats where different snakes make their home. And we could find several species of snakes up here on a good day. So we're hoping today is gonna to be one of those good days. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. That, my friends, is the buzz of a timber rattlesnake. Okay guys, so as you can hear, Frank found our first snake of the day. As you can see in that rock, see that tongue flickering? That is a timber rattlesnake. Now this is my first timber in the state of West Virginia. Um, I think my fifth one of this year. Look at that beautiful head in there. He's being a real champ. Now where there's one, there's bound to be others. So this is probably a den right here. And <clears throat> so we really lucked out, as you can see, just being in there and he can soak up the perfect amount of heat, the perfect amount of humidity, and he's safe. See right here, we can't get him. If I reach in there, he's gonna bite me. And if he came out here, he's thinking, oh, there's a possibility that uh, they could eat me. You know, he has no clue that we just wanna film him and share in the beauty of this. But that is awesome. I have never started off the day with a timber rattlesnake. It's getting pretty hot up here. So I don't know how much more we're gonna find, but we're gonna keep herping along these shaded edges of the power cut. I mean, just so awesome. Timber rattlesnake, beautiful. So I just want to reiterate again, Tony picked this spot out by looking at satellite images, finding the power lines, and looking for the white marks of rocks. And as we we're coming up this slope, I saw this section of rocks right here on the edge of sun and shade, and I thought, that's gonna be my first spot to look. And when I arrived, I didn't see the snake first. I heard him buzzing first. Oh, I see you. Come on. So I've been flipping around like a madman. Uh, we are gonna put this rock back. Just waiting on Frank to get up here. And I haven't found anything since that beautiful timber and flip this gorgeous little baby milk snake. Awesome. He's under this huge rock that should have had two adults under it, but I'll take a baby. He is cute. He's in shed, but still a beautiful snake. That is awesome. Neat. Second snake of the day. He's trying to eat me. Cute. All right, guys, so here's our little milk again. Frank's holding him. He, uh, he's feisty, he's bit both of us, and we're still alive, figure that. 
But uh, as you can see, he's got that checkered pattern. We were just talking on Frank's channel about that's a great way to distinguish them. Now these guys are members of the king snake family. Milk snakes are king snakes. It's a complicated thing. I think it's all milk snakes are king snakes. Not all king snakes are milk snakes. But these guys are in the same family. They're constrictors. They can eat other snakes. They're really cool, but they love to remain hidden. So you're really only going to find them under either rocks, bark, or artificial cover. They don't come out in the open too much. What are the <clears throat> characteristic features that call out to you? I'm a milk snake. I'm a milk snake. Well, for one, it's this, uh, they usually have this banding pattern. And then now water snakes have that as well. But the water snakes don't have this black checkered pattern on their stomach right here. And the milk snake usually has a smaller head. Yeah, I was looking for the Y marking on the top of his head. Does he have a little Y yet? That's well, let's see. He's biting me right there, so oh. that's a good... Uh, I don't see A it. little bit, but this one is in shed right now, so it's a little bit hard. If he wasn't in shed, a baby like this would have a vibrant maroon color. Now you can see kind of a darker maroon color right here. But this one is in shed, so it's a little bit more dull. But these are awesome snakes. I love them. One this size is probably eating a combination of invertebrates. Possibly some smaller snakes. If he came across a little ring neck or something, he might choke him out and then swallow him. But that is awesome. And I'm going to film Frank releasing him, letting him go back under that rock right there. <clears throat> You always want to put the rocks right back exactly where you found them. And uh, we're doing a little education with these snakes. I want to show you what they look like. Uh, handle them for a couple minutes and we put them right back where we found them. Yeah. Awesome. Eastern milk. We found two snakes so far today and even if it was the only two we found, that's pretty, that's two good ones. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door here with Tony Barraza. Got pretty hot up there. We feel like it got kind of dry, and I think a lot of the snakes went underneath. But we we're pretty excited to find what we did here today. Any closing comments, Tony? You'll never hear me complain about finding a timber rattlesnake and a milk snake in the same day. So for being in the heat of summer right now, it's almost July, I'd say we did pretty be sure to check out Tony's uh, YouTube channel. Yep. Maryland and Delaware Herp. And come check us out. Try and, to put something up every week. And his Facebook group is really awesome. Maryland Delaware Herp. So thanks for watching this episode. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to our channels. Give us a like. And we love hearing from our viewers. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. Here on the mountain in West Virginia.